Good morning, everyone. Konnichiwa, guten tag, and namaste to everyone who's joined in today. Welcome if you are new and you're joining Avanti Yoga um, alongside with us from today onwards. And it's a bank holiday Friday. So what a super start to start your relaxing day. I hope you'll all be relaxing, taking it easy and enjoying the sunshine. We're very lucky. So let's begin. So we'll start by sitting down. Before we begin, just making sure you've got a nice clean space to perform your practice. Nice clear mind. We're gonna get rid of all that stress that's lingering. And you're wearing nice comfortable clothing and you know your health is great. And you just take it in your own stride and just enjoy this practice. So let's begin by sitting on a block, a cushion, sitting on the edge of the block, raising our hips so they are higher than our knees. You can notice your knees are nicely touching the ground. Your spine is lengthened, so straight away this block, the cushion, allows us to straighten our posture, no slouchies, and we're smiling, lifting our shoulders up and back and down. Chest open, heart open. Placing our fingers in our Gnan Mudra, the Mudra of knowledge, power, knowledge, memory, power, wisdom. So just placing them on your knees, arms straight and just a soft bend in your elbow. So let's just begin just to close our eyes and slowly, slowly just allowing, we've got maybe a to-do list to do today, just allowing that little list, placing in a box inside and just blowing it out. So breathing in through the nose and blowing out through your mouth. And again, breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth, breathing in, breathing out through the mouth. And now, just taking a moment here, you can continue your breath. Tune into your body, tune into your breath. The breath is the most powerful thing we need during yoga. And it keeps us alive, keeps us vibrant. So we want to use the whole breath. So this time, I'm going to try and just count up to six and then out for six. So reminding yourselves, breathing in from the belly first, then through the rib cages, all the way up towards your collarbone. Okay, let's begin. So breathing in, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale through the nose, six, five, four, three, two, one. And again, keep inhaling, inhaling. One, two, three, four, five, six. And out, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep breathing as you inhale. Rib cage is expanding, lungs filling with air. And as you breathe out, stomach draws in, the rib cages draw back in. And again, inhale. See if you can. Increase your count, perhaps. You may want to stay where you are, and that's okay. And exhale. Breathe in that positivity again. And breathe out all the unwanted things, thoughts, and goodbye to them. Last breath. Let's do it together. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. And just observe, how did that feel? Did you use your fullest breath? Give me a thumbs up if you did, or I'm not sure I might have. So just remember, full breath. This is the pranic, the energy we want to create. Okay, so let's begin with a nice Om chant, just creating peace 
all around us and creating that nice energy in this room wherever you're practicing today. So take a nice deep breath in. Um, just slowly, slowly releasing the mudra, the index finger and the thumb away from me, opening the palms, allowing them to face the ceiling. Feel that energy that's entering through your palms and smile. Slowly, slowly, blinking the eyes open. And just remember, if mom, dad are watching you doing yoga or grandma, or grandpa, bring them along and tell them to join in with us today. Okay, so we're just removing the block from our seat and a few little warm-ups, warming up our body, warming up our morning. Okay, so just shoulders, breathing in and exhale, drop gently, inhale. And exhale, dropping down. This time, inhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the shoulders towards your ears and exhale, drop. Inhale, squeeze, 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 squeeze and exhale, drop. And now your chin, tucking that down towards your chest, looking down, feeling a nice stretch down your back and then looking up. Trying to, you want to get a nice massage, a nice stretch through your throat, opening up and then looking to your right and looking to your left. And let's go a little bit faster this time. Looking down, looking up, looking to your right, looking to your left. And one more tilt, get to your right hand, whichever hand is good for you on the same side of the head and just Push into that hand. Push, 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 push. Feel all the pressure coming onto your hand, your arm. And just push, push, push. Can you feel that? And then let go. And the tension may have gone. Let's try the other side. Hand to the side of your head. And push, push, push towards the wall on that side. Push your head. Push, push. And release all that pressure. And then now, fingertips coming onto your shoulders. Elbows kissing, inhale, and exhale, make a nice circle, inhale, and exhale, inhale, breathe in, and exhale, one more inhale, and exhale, in the other way around, inhale, exhale, keeping the spine straight, nice and lengthened, inhale, exhale, one more inhale and exhale and let go and shake, shake, shake the wrists. Really make a nice shake. Let it all go and arms out, palms to opposites of the wall, facing the wall, strengthening those arms. No floppy arms, strengthen. Yes, I'm so strong. Okay, you can say that to yourself. I'm strong. Okay, opening the palms, breathing in. Exhale, scrunch the fist. Inhale, push, push, push against the two walls. Exhale, make a nice fist. Inhale, and exhale. And let's rotate those wrists. Computer, hopefully you're not using the computer today, you're not working from home, it's your day off. And if you are, just give yourself a little TLC. And okay, good. So we've shaped it all out. And lastly, let's make nice circles with our hips. So hands just gently, palms onto your knees. And we're going to lean forward, bottom still seated on the mat, breathing in halfway. Make a nice circle and back. Exhale halfway again, all the way. Inhale through the nose and exhale. One more inhale and take your time. This is a mindful movement and exhale. Now slowly, slowly, anti-clockwise, the other way, inhaling. And exhale. You may want to close your eyes while you do this. So nice, mindful breathing, mindful breath. Exhale halfway. Last one. Inhale. So you're giving a nice stretch to your hips, the side, the waist, 
And at the same time, the stomach is always engaged. Okay, so we've done our little warm up to start off. It's always great in yoga to start with a warm up to just strengthen, warm up the muscles. Okay, so what we're going to do today, we're going to do balancing table pose. So we're coming onto all fours. Your wrists are in line with your shoulders and knees in line with your hip. You may want to make two fists and place them between your knees. So this is hip width distance apart. And remember that imaginary square that you're making between your wrists and your knees. And my feet are nice and flat. So back is straight, so like a table and like a baby crawls. Okay, so from here, what we want to do is you're going to just lift up the right knee and straighten the leg at the back. And we're going to flex the foot. So that means toes pointing towards your mat. So a nice straight line with your leg. Okay, and then see how do you feel to extend that left arm out. And you may want to tilt the palms to the side or to the wall, wherever is good for you. So just practice, how does this feel for you? And now here, my belly button is pushing up towards my spine. So you can feel that gives you a nice balance there. Now just come back down. How did that feel? You may want to shake the right arm out, all the weights going onto the right hand, the right arm. Now let's try the other leg. So firstly, shoulders nice, the back, no slouchy hands, straight arms, back straight, fingertips spread wide open, gripping to my mat. Okay, you ready for the next one? So left leg, take the knee up and away, straightening that left leg, flexing the foot so your heels pushing against the back wall, toes facing the mat. Now, get ready. All the weight going onto that left hand. And the right arm comes out straight. So when you look in the mirror, maybe one day you can try this in front of the mirror, you've got a nice straight line. Your gaze is towards the mat, looking down. So the crown of your head, all the way down your spine, is nicely lengthened. How does that feel? And then place back down. Shake out the left arm, and then I'll turn and do show you on this side. Okay, so that's step one. So let's introduce the breath work here. So we'll start again with the right leg. So breathing in and just breathing out through the nose, just setting ourselves ready. Now just go a little bit forward. Okay, so inhale. And kicking the right leg out, flexing that foot, and arm extending, looking down, and you're just exhaling out. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. You may feel a bit wobbly, but that's okay. You just keep trying. This is your practice, your time to just experiment and then exhale back down. The other side, so you may want to shake it again, left leg extends out, breathing in here, extending out the right arm, looking down. So you don't want to get a tight neck, you want to look down, holding it here, breathing as you breathe in, and out, take a nice deep breath in this time, and point, point, both the heel at the back and the fingertips. And then exhale, come back down. And this posture is really good for strengthening the whole back and the shoulders up to your arms. Okay, so this time I want to bring a little movement. So if you want to stay with this part, the step one, please carry on. Okay, so breathing in, extending the opposite arm and the leg, and then exhale. You're going to swing that right knee towards your nose and the left arm, the elbow, hugging into your chest. And again, breathing in. Stretch, 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 looking down. And then exhale, swinging the knee forward. 
And again, breathe in. Straight pencil line and exhale. And down. How did that feel for you? Did you like that? Did it work for you? If you didn't, that's okay. Carry on with the just separate work. Okay, so ready for the left side. Inhale. Opposite leg, arm out, looking down. Exhale, swing slowly, slowly. Find that nice weight in your hand, the palm that's on the mat. Inhale, stretch, stretch. Exhale, knee to the nose. Engage your stomach muscles. Inhale and exhale. Another one more. Inhale. In making sure the hips are still leveled. You're not tilting like this. Inhale. And then exhale. Drop. Okay. So just give it a little movement and the wrists. Okay. Next part of this. So the beauty of this pose, is there's so many steps, there's so many variations. So what we want to do now, I want to build in Vyagrasana. This is tiger pose. So just like we did placing ourselves in our tabletop, extending the left leg out, the right arm out, breathing in. And then when I exhale, this right hand is going to swing around and it's going to grab my foot and watch, open up, opening the heart. Yes, receiving that love. Can you feel that stretch all the way down your shoulders, all the way down the arms? And we've got a nice stretch here and definitely great for the heart. And then exhale down. Let's try the other side. So, getting ready. This pose as well is really good for your kidneys. Helps to flush them out and for the adrenals. So, inhale, right arm. Left, looking down at your focus point. Breathing in and then exhale, bending that right knee and grabbing my hand to my foot. Opening up. The more you draw back your shoulder, your left shoulder, you can get a really lovely stretch. And we can do a big raw. One, two, three. Rah! I'm sure you did a better one than me. And then exhale, drop. Okay, so let's just give a little movement around to our hips. Inhaling and exhaling, making nice circular motions. And then again, the opposite. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, so from here, just putting the knees, placing them a further a little bit back to your mat. So we did this last week, coming into child's pose. So here, still stomach engaged, arms strong, breathing in, and then exhale, lowering the hips all the way down to your heels. Placing your forehead to your mat. And if you need that block, please grab that block, cushion, put it on underneath your forehead. My arms still active. Fingertips stretching towards the wall opposite me. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. I might want to bring my arms by my side. Whatever is comfortable for you. And just taking a moment to draw back your attention to your breath. You might be thinking about something else right now. Bring it back, that focus to your breath. And slowly, slowly, as you inhale, raising up. And shoulders come over the wrists. Coming into Bhujangasana, Cobra. So hips lowering towards the mat, my head gazing up. Where does your head take you this morning? You may be here, looking at the wall. You may be just slightly looking up, wherever is good for you today. Massaging that lower back. And again, inhale, hips come back towards the heels. And exhale, inhale, 
Rising back up, shoulders over wrists, feet still slightly apart, thighs coming to the mat, coming up, and then exhale, hips and down. One more. So this is a nice, again, a mindful movement with your breath. Inhale, and then exhale. Breathing in and out. And then exhale this time, untap those toes. The knees are going to lift up and away into your downward dog. So here, you're pushing away from the palms of your hand. Your net, your gaze, your drishti is towards your navel. Your legs, your legs are nicely, they're trying to be straight as they can. And if it's difficult for you to lift the knees up and away, you place the knees down, the feet relax, and just extend the fingertips out and place elbows onto the mat and just push the hips away from you. This is puppy pose. So it's a really nice relaxing pose and really nice stretching for the lower back. So wherever you can be today, please be comfortable with your pose. And from here, inhaling, exhaling through the nose, inhaling, and exhaling, inhale, feel that nice hamstring warming up, exhale, now from here, inhale, just the shoulders coming over the wrist, like, a little, like you're going to get ready for plank, but we're not today, inhale, you're going to bring that foot, one right foot forward, in between your palms. Now, if that's tricky, you've got your trusty hand and you're going to help yourself to bring that foot in its place. Drop the left knee. Like you're getting ready to run that marathon, run that sprint race. Fingertips just nicely pressing into the mat. Now, feel this. Do you feel a nice stretch all the way up from the groin, all the way down the inner thigh? And let's just take a little stretch forward, and back, forward, and back. Feel yourself strengthening those muscles inside. From here, getting ready, looking ahead, breathe in. Raise that knee up and off, and just bring the left foot next to your right foot. So from here, I'm in my forward fold pose. So breathing in, looking down, and then exhale, bend the knees. And just close the head in as much as you can towards your knees. Inhale. Looking ahead. Fingertips. Your hands may be at your shins or down. Exhale. Draw in. Folding. Hinging from your hips. You may want to straighten your legs as you forward fold. Some of you may like to bend your knees. And exhale. And now inhale. Hands rising up. Palms meeting, salute the sun, and then exhale, hands to heart center. So that was like a mini half of heart version, half version of sun salutation we finished off with. So just now to begin our pose for the day. So we're training, we've trained ourselves. The balancing tabletop pose is helping us to get into this pose that we're going to do today. And this pose is Natarajasan, so the dancer's pose. So firstly, just want to ground down, create that foundation in your feet. Pick up your, lift up your toes, and then place them pinky down all the way to the big toe. And again, raising the toes, and then slowly, 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 bringing the toes back down, and shifting your weight forwards, backwards, and to your side, and to the other side. So all four corners of your feet nicely grounded. And then raising up the core muscles. And shoulders up and back. I always like to just ground myself with the mountain pose. Palms facing the head. You want to draw in that energy all the way from your feet, all the way up, 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 up to the crown of your head. Just closing your eyes for a moment, breathing in and breathing out. 
Two more breaths in and out. One more, inhale and exhale. Slowly opening the eyes, feeling grounded. Just like that mountain, the mountain doesn't move, it just stays nice and firm. Just like so, we should also remain nicely grounded. Okay, so I'm going to face this way. So to start our dancer's pose, it's very similar to the balancing tabletop that we did onto the mat, but we're doing it standing this time. So feet slightly apart, just a little bit. And for now, what I want you to do is just to shift all that weight to your left leg. And slowly, slowly, you're going to bend that knee and just place it next to your thigh. So just holding it. The other hand can be on your hip. And just see how that feels. We want to learn to make sure we can balance ourselves really nicely. You want to look at something in front of you for that focus. And then press it back down. Let's do the other side. Other hand on your hip. Breathing in. And then exhale. You're going to bend the knee and just place it and hold it here for a minute. How does it feel? Does one side feel more balanced than the other? And then exhale, down. So you may have one side that you prefer. Our brain works in wonderful ways. Okay, so let's begin. So left foot, your left leg, all the weight shifting. You can have a slight bend in your knee. Remember, core engaged at all times. Okay, so breathing in and then exhale. You're going to bend the right knee, grabbing on to your foot. Or some may like to do it like this. You've got a bigger ball on your side and you're going to bend that foot, the knee, and then grabbing the ankle. Breathe in and raises up. And then as we exhale, you're shifting your body upper body forward and your right knee is tilting towards the back wall and you may want to even lift 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 that foot and then lower back down how does that feel so let's do it again this time and this time look at the focus point in front of you and some of you may want to put your hands in gnana mudra pose so your index finger and your thumb Okay, so let's begin again. Shoulders up and back and ready. Inhaling, big ball out and exhale. You're going to just grab that foot. Inhale, hand rises up and then exhale, shifting the body forward. My left leg is firm to the ground. And as I shift forward, Opening up the heart here as well. Strengthening my shoulders. Strengthening this little back bend. My back. And then holding it for a few breaths. And arms are just nicely pointing. Your hands can be like so. Think of a light, graceful dancer. And then inhale. Exhale, placing the foot down. And shaking out that left leg. Last side. So inhaling. Exhale, coming out of the bigger ball, grabbing my foot and breathing in. Exhaling, shifting, Ooh, losing the balance. We may come in and out of our pose, and that's okay. Inhale and exhale. Just shifting the knee back, further, further back, and holding it here. A few breaths. And if we come out and in of this pose, that's fine. So Lord Shiva, you can carry on with the pose. Lord Shiva is known as Nataraj, Lord of the Dance. So this pose really helps us if we have any fears in our life, any fears in our mind. We want to let go of them and we want to show courage. 
and that's one of our values at the Avanti schools. So leaving you with this thought today, how you can show courage and how you can just get rid of those fears because we don't need them. You want to invite the love, we want to show courage, we want to show boldness and we just need to think about this pose. Whenever you're thinking, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I'm worried about this. Think of Lord Shiva in his most beautiful, graceful pose and how you can show courage to everyone around you. Let's just finish by sitting down, crossing our legs in, legs in Sukhasana, just taking a moment, palms facing the ceiling, closing our eyes, breathing in and out. One more, inhale, and another exhale. And just bringing hands to heart center, pressing your thumbs against your sternum. Let's finish with an Aum chant. Inhaling. Oh. Keeping the eyes closed. Getting in touch with your body. How do you feel after doing your yoga practice? And hopefully your body's feeling more rejuvenated, it's more nourished and expelling all these toxins out within us. Bowing down to ourselves with gratitude. Thanking your body for helping you to move today. And the joy, the love you have to everyone, remember, spread that. Let go of the fear. Bring in courage. Slowly open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining in today. And tomorrow we'll be back at 10 o'clock. Namaste to everybody. Have a fab bank holiday. Keep practicing the poses. Thank you.